Yeah, we're just gonna pretend we didn't see that. Oh, she leaking. <laughs> This room's really kicking me this morning. Just gotta keep going. I'm so pooped already, but let's just go around two. Woo! Yo, we're cutting it close, guys. I'm about to pass out. Oh boy, it might get a little interesting around 12 o'clock, so <laughs> we will see. Typical Florida there for you though, sunny and then it just hits us with a shower. Perfect. That should last us about like two hours. All right, guys, it's currently 9.14 a.m. We got a little under half a tank of gas, so that should be fine for a little bit. Now we are in the zone for DoorDash. So as you can see, not very busy right now, but should be pretty okay. We can probably find some orders. Nine o'clock's a little early to start. It's stupid nice out right now. There's literally not a cloud in the sky. I don't know how it's gonna rain at like three o'clock. We'll see, I guess. Let's see if the weathermen are right today. Usually they're not, so I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, so we made it to the parking lot I always chill at. This is just a good central area where there's a bunch of restaurants, so I just kind of chill here. Not looking too busy right now. It's Monday morning, so I mean, typically it's not really busy on Mondays, but let's just see what we can do. See if we get any orders soon. Hopefully we do, fingers crossed. I'm not really expecting much right now. It's probably gonna be pretty slow until it picks up about around 11 o'clock. So let's see what's good. All right, guys, we got our first order. It's an alcohol order. So, I mean, I guess someone's feeling a little rowdy right now this morning, but yeah, we're gonna accept it. It's $10.50, so let's get it. Look at all this traffic, guys, holy crap. It's getting busy here in Florida. Everyone's moving here, I swear. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Thank you. Good morning. Safety first. Make sure you guys wear your seatbelts out here.
perfect time right as I'm about to deliver this last DoorDash order. It's gonna take me a little far away from where I wanna be, but it's $11, so might as well send it. But yeah, let's just get to delivering this order and then going to go pick up the other order. It can get a little hectic doing both at the same time, but you just gotta be on your toes, guys. No time wasted. And low-key, you might have to have a little bit of a heavy foot, but we made it nine minutes early so let's just deliver this order verify his ID make sure he's old enough to drink and let's get on our way to picking up the other order so it even reminded us right there you can see so yeah you guys we're in a little bit of a predicament right now I knocked on the door a couple times rang the doorbell a couple times the one big issue with alcohol orders is you have to have someone present that is of age to accept the alcohol. You can't just leave it at the door. So yeah, that's the issue we're having right now. And the other issue is I accepted an Uber Eats order. So now I gotta go pick up that order on time, you know? So I don't know, I might have to cancel this order, bring it back to the store as I'm taking my Uber Eats order because I haven't heard anything from the customer. So yeah, it's very unfortunate, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I'm gonna give him one more call, see what's good. If he doesn't answer, then I'm gonna have to just cancel the order. Well, he didn't answer, so yeah, now I'm pretty f***ed. Of course, this is already happening today, but we're not gonna let it get to us. Let's just go on with our other order, cancel this order, and get on with the day. So the next place we're going to is pretty close to this order's house, so we're gonna give him a little bit of time. Hopefully he answers so I can just deliver to him and we don't have to cancel the order or anything. But I don't know, it's not looking too good right now. Let's just go pick up the other order and see what's good. Appreciate it, have a good one. So this food's like an acai bowl. It's temperature sensitive, so we got this bag from DoorDash and it'll keep it nice and cool in here. Having a bit of a deja vu moment right now. Last time I delivered to Michelle, I had an alcohol order before that too, and same thing happened. So Michelle, if you're watching this, thank you for being a loyal customer, but at the same time, you're bad luck. So yeah, I tried giving the person a call again with the alcohol order, they didn't answer. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to cancel the order. DoorDash has like this little feature that you can click, you just click I need help and you can just say can't reach the customer. They set this thing up for you so it gives like a little countdown to reach the customer and if they don't answer, they'll just give you the option to return the item. They also give you like half of the original pay to return it so it's not really wasting much time. So at least that's pretty good. Time to return this. How's it going? Uh, so this was a DoorDash order, the customer wasn't there, so they just had me return it. Okay. Have a good one. So we returned it, got $2.25, I thought it was half, I guess they changed it or something. But we still made $12.75 on that order. Holy crap, these roads are something else, dude. They're literally, like, they've been working on this road for probably four years, and it's still... <laughs> you can just tell right there it's pretty bad all right but imagine just like sending this who knows might be in a future video look at this Woo! beautiful pavement right here if there's one thing that irks me the most it's people that drive the speed limit in the fast lane like come on bro DoorDash gives you the exact dollar amount you made right away. 
but with Uber Eats, they can change their tip or add a tip or whatever. So it takes about like an hour or so till you see how much money you made on that order. Yeah, it's like 10, 20 now, so should pick up quite a bit now. Look at this. We are sweating pretty bad right now. By the way, go head over to Drift HQ, pick up your drift parts, use code HOON5 at checkout. We got another Uber Eats order. Kind of screwed myself though. Hopped on the highway way too soon and now I gotta go all the way back around, but it is what it is. Oh boy, I get so itchy every time I drive up this on-ramp, like. What a turd. <laughs> Still got the tire rubber slaps all over it. Should clean this thing. LOL, well the dip play. The clouds are coming, not gonna lie. I don't know. We got about an hour and a half and it says it's gonna start raining. This is an interesting place. I don't know, never delivered here before. We literally just got another order, like mid-order, but just did it. Told you I wanted to be busy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. My guy wall tapped over here. Dang, this order is taking us pretty far from where I want to go, but that's the one thing with Uber Eats that's bad, is it's not very accurate sometimes. Like, it doesn't really show where you're delivering to sometimes it like glitches so hopefully they fix that soon because it makes it pretty challenging when i'm doing both doordash and uber eats at the same time he smells the food <laughs> which floor are you going to four four Well, I guess a bird heard me call this thing a turd earlier because he just dropped one on it. definitely drunk when you made the cup holders for this car like bruh like <laughs> come on hopefully that shit doesn't fall no it's spilling no AC, let's get it. some moves for sure so everyone's happy and they get their orders on time. Thanks. Have a good one. You too. Thanks, have a good one. Thank you. My advice is you're definitely gonna want to know your area quite well and you'll definitely want some experience in both apps before you do both at the same time because it can get pretty stressful especially if you don't know what you're doing. So yeah this is for like veteran DoorDash Uber Eats drivers only. All right, we just dropped off the McDonald's order. Time to go drop off the DoorDash order. Let's get it. All right, 
right, so we got a so fresh order. It's not really my type of uh, mileage to dollar ratio, but hopefully Sean's working. We can say what's up to him. It's starting to rain. You can see the drops. At least it's cooling down, but we got no windows, so this is interesting. Perfect, we got a Chipotle order from Uber Eats right in the same area. So we're really gonna be making like around $20 for these two orders, so that works out actually. Let's see if it's gonna start pouring. Hopefully it's not too bad because that leaks, this leaks, this leaks. We got this bag though to keep the customer's orders dry. So don't worry about that. Their food's not gonna be soggy. We gotta get gas soon too, dang. Whole lot of stuff happening and it is 1245. So we got about two more hours. Then I'm gonna hit the gym, eat, and then go back out at around five o'clock or so because that's when it starts picking up again because three o'clock it just becomes like a straight dead zone at least here not a lot of people order so i just kind of find something else to do so i'm not doing it all day you know so get a little break here and there but that was a big lightning strike so yep this is great <laughs> At least it's cooling me down though. Like it's for real cooling me down pretty nicely. So can't complain too much. These tires have absolutely no grip though. Like they're pretty dry rotted. So this is gonna be very interesting. This is the worst right here. When you're just sitting in a standstill, then it starts to really leak in and you can see it kind of coming through my window, but the rain's coming directly down. It's not coming at an angle, so that's good. So whenever it comes like, and it's windy and it comes at an angle, it just, directly drenches me. The E36 getting a little thirsty, so we're gonna put $20 in it and see how long that lasts. Maybe it'll get this through the rest of the day. Maybe I'll have to put a little bit more in, but I don't expect I have to put much more in here. E36 is getting a little wet right now. Orders are dry though. I keep one right there, one back here. We'll be chilling. Let's go deliver these things. Puddly out here. You know, we out here 
My deliveries are delivered with love. Freaking fuel cutting, that's so lame. Sad Nico. I don't know, foot to the floor, it was just cutting so bad. All right, we just got another Uber Eats order, $7. It was right here, so I just accepted it. The rain is definitely cooling down now, so that's pretty good. Didn't get too soaked. I mean, I got a little soaked, but I'm used to it at this point. I always do this, so. This isn't like a new thing to me, honestly. It rains a lot over the summer. I door dash Uber Eats all the time, so this is nothing new. We just got another order. This one was with DoorDash, so we're doing the whole Uber Eats DoorDash thing again. They were both like right next to each other. I love it when it works out that way. I've had to cancel a couple. You guys haven't seen a lot of the orders I've been canceling, but mostly the ones that I cancel are the ones that are less than a dollar a mile. You'll just see like the mileage and they're like less than a dollar a mile I don't do it and if it's really far away it kind of takes me away from my spot once you start dashing and uber eating around where you live you kind of figure out like good spots to sit and stuff and find some good orders yeah I generally just accept orders that are like within the same area so I just stay not wasting time and making the most money I can yo look at this sinkhole hopefully the e36 doesn't fall on it I don't know if you can tell on camera but pretty bad. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Oh, thank you. Gotta help the Karens even though they don't like the drifting. Maybe they will one day. This is how it happens. Start puddling up and then boom it just goes down the E36 sinks. Not today though. We grinding today, boys. So wait, we just got another order. It was like around $13, I think. Wasn't too far away. So I still have to deliver the Uber Eats order, and then I gotta deliver the DoorDash order, and then I can go pick it up. But it's all in the same area, so it ends up working out pretty well, so. Sick! Tell me where the hell the lane is, because I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Look at this. Like, what? Wasn't going fast enough. Yo, E36 gang. Style 32s as well, they're not 17s. And it's manual. Sheesh. And it's a 323. I mean, it's all right, I guess. It's got a get drag in it. It's darn BMW drivers. Shake my head. The GoPro's almost dead. So we have like one more hour and then we can go charge it. It's two o'clock right now. I pick up this order it's gonna bring me back to like closer to my house so that'll be perfect maybe grab a bite to eat go to the gym and then get back on the grind oh we got an order for chick-fil-a let's see yeah i'll accept it so we just got to order five dollars 25 cents for chick-fil-a so sick maybe i might order food from there yes thank you I can take you. Hello. I'll do a uh, spice select sandwich meal. No pickle. Can never say no to the Lord's fries right here. Oof. Fun fact I used to work here when I was 16. Still doesn't get old. That last order just paid for my lunch, so. Sick. E36 cup holders only accept the Lord's drinks. Fits perfect. Damn, I was hungry. Boom Garage approved. All 
let's try this again. There we go. Just gotta go a little faster, you know? Be like that sometimes. We stay out here having to go faster. GoPro's on 6% rip. Gotta drop big mile folks. Don't drop the food in the puddle. Don't step in the puddle. Every order I have is always upstairs for some reason. Where the frick am I? I'm lost. All right, it's 2.35, GoPro's about to die, phone's about to die, AirPods are dead. Gonna be on my way home, go to the gym, charge up the GoPro and everything, and then be back out at five. Man's whipping it. today hundred dollars I spent on all this stuff but should be good for the e46 this stuff should work great to clean up the main harness on that car and match this little sneak peek Got a good old pump going now. Let's get back to deliveries. Made $123.74 so far. So let's see how much more we can make today. Reloaded on the water. Shout out my cousin showing me these things. This will hold me over for a little bit. It's got hella protein in it. So good thing to eat after the gym, I guess. Right as I got here, we got an Uber Eats order and it's the same place, so perfect. We got another delivery added on. It's like a pizza place right by. So yeah, we're gonna have three orders. Dinner time, this is typical. Dinner time is like the most busy time out of everything. So yeah, it's pretty expected. If you're doing both platforms at the same time, you're gonna have like four orders at once or three orders at once. So it can get kind of crazy. Hey, how you doing? Picking up for Mike? Sure. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. No problem, you have a good have afternoon. Going? It's so awkward when they see the GoPro cause like they're just like looking at you and then down at the GoPro. And it's just weird, I don't know. Something to get used to for sure. There's Cletus's house. We just delivered one of the Chipotle orders. All these new houses around here, dude, the GPS is so broken, it's so annoying. Like it just took me to the completely wrong house on the wrong block. I had to go find the house with the number on it. So that was definitely killing some time. So we gotta make it up. sure the door can open. changed the pads on this car ever since I got the car like five years ago crazy against 
against my rules of a dollar or more per mile, but I kind of feel like driving right now and it's also going to a church, so maybe I can ask God for a little bit of forgiveness for today's driving. <laughs> I swear you guys are just getting mainly like the action clips of today's driving. I'm not doing that everywhere. These are only spots that I know are like away from a lot of people and stuff and like fairly new developed roads. So don't worry, I'm not that much of an a-hole. All right, so we got Rachel's order. It's kind of slow right now. I don't know why. Maybe everyone's enjoying the nicer weather. I don't know, it's weird, but hopefully it picks up soon. I guess I left my car on. <laughs> Whoops, it's been a long day. Good girl, good girl. These things are built different, guys. Like, all that grip and they're dry rotted tires. Not bad BMW. This thing handles like a dream, even though it has a welded diff. Bag secured, boys. Let's go deliver these things. Sick. Putting in some work right now, dude. We're starting to lose the sunlight, guys. Pretty beat right now, but I don't know. I say we give it another hour or so. It's starting to slow down quite a bit now. Let's see how many orders we can get. Probably gonna stop around like 9, 9.15 or so. Cause I am pretty dead now. The no AC gets to me a little bit. All right, I'm tapping out after this order. Unless there's another good one on the way home or something, but that's what I'm going with so far. <laughs> My turn signal got pretty angry that I wasn't using it because I'm a BMW driver. And now it's just like permanently on. LOL. Dude, look at this sky though. Holy. I love Florida. We out here delivering so fresh order. Don't know where my guy is at right now, but I texted him, so hopefully he comes down and turn signal still just on. So we're gonna have to fix that. Probably a short somewhere. Bro, I'm so dumb. I took the wrong exit and now it's taking me southbound when I'm supposed to be going northbound. Nice. Tired, tired Nico does weird things. Last delivery of the day, boys. 